Musical. You're a liar, Chris. You sit along with. Um... Oh, but he's got sharp ears, dressed from bot to the top. I don't know. Who, I don't know who that is. I know Troy, and that's it. You got Troy, Gabrielle, Sharpay, and Ryan. You the Sharpay is a type of a dog. There's a dog in High School Musical. So, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the Visual Arts Podcast. Visuals. Welcome. Oh, it's it's stuck on L. It's picked up on L. <laughs> <laughs> My mum's just done Stranger Things, by the way. She liked it. Oh, she's just done Stranger Things. Three well, seasons. she's only just Never. discovered Netflix. This Netflix thing isn't enough good down. <laughs> three seasons and three days. Honestly, she was like, this is bloody good. You could just sit and watch them all. Me and mum have been around for a while now. <laughs> but obviously, she old, she old. She don't know the crap. But yes, no, it's, it's a bracket just time. No, it's on old TV. Yeah, but Netflix hasn't been around for two minutes, has it? She knows the concept of Netflix. I can hear you, know. I'll put you down soon, yo, wench. <laughs> Well, now we all just got to work for season four. Yeah, because we're not in Hawkins anymore. Yeah. And we're getting more. Oh, they're not stopping at four? No, we oh. had this conversation. Oh, yeah, we did we? Oh, no, we did we? Yes. There's potentially going to five and possibly six. No. I'll do me. I'll do me. Love I the remember gentleman. Dan, I totally forgot how emotional the last episode was. Um... You know, when Elle's reading a little letter from Hopper yes. and, like, I was, like, lump in the throat. <laughs> Nearly shed a tear. I was like, don't be stronger than this, B. <laughs> we smashed your knee on something, but you're stronger than this. You smashed your knee on something. Well, anyway, it's bracket time, Chris. Um, You should be able to, to do this bracket. We're going to do this one slightly on by stream because I think if we went on popular... What, am I helping you? No, it's, am it's I, me. Am I defending... It's me, you... The opposite, or am I? Yeah, it's me and you discussing. Oh. But I think if we went on popular, there's a certain character that's become so Look, popular in the mainstream at the minute. I can't even sit on the ta- desk, the bed, the side anymore. <laughs> well, technically, mate, it's not right. designed for sitting. So get your butt off there, B. It's not designed as a bed either, Dan. I don't sleep on it. You fell asleep. I on nap before. on it. <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep on it plenty times. He's no, like, yeah. Oh, I'm just going down for a frog and a coffee. Come down. He's there, sprawled out on here. Well, because sometimes when I'm nodding off, I don't get let. She's like, no, I'm like, just let me fucking nap. But then she goes to nap. I make sure she's tucked in. She's got a teddy. She's got a juice. I sneak out of the room. She's napping. Get I back. get battered. Yeah, I came back last night and I woke up. Well, I didn't even know you came back. I woke up the next month, like this morning, and I had a blankie over me, and I was like, wait, my feet were in this before. I was so confused. Well, yeah, because I make sure when you're napping, I make sure you're right and good to go. I do. Don't fall asleep. You Stay awake. You on the floor once and I brought you a pillow and a blanket over. Fuck yourself. Mm. What are you trying? Like, come on, let's go here. Come on, we're going for a fag. Just try and wake me up. I'm like, what are you trying to wake me up? I'm going to sleep. We're going to... You're a little shit, isn't she? Mm. Uh, it's bracket time, Chris. And um, what I was trying to say, sorry, is if we go on the popular one, I, f- I could be completely fucking wrong here, to be fair. I just, so with how popular a certain character from this film has got, it might be an easy landslide. I could be wrong. Right, what are we doing? Do, 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 into the Spider-Verse characters. Okay. Yes. Well, 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 are we doing voice actors? Or no, no, just characters? the characters, the characters. So I said characters, not voice actors. Yeah. It's characters. Because Haley would have won. Characters. Uh, no, just just I'll uh, bend that wench. But obviously, <laughs> what I was that wench. Uh, because what I was saying just then, because how popular Miles has got so massive at the minute. You know, people are wanting yeah, to like, film. Yeah, these characters like. Uh, no, no, mate. Obviously, there's one on there. If we were doing like popular, you could argue it'd be main Spider-Man or Miles. But like Miles get his own game. Everybody fucking loving it. The amount of views that his shit yeah. gets. I don't know. I mean, we could still go on who we think the popular is. But I think for me, then I'd I think I would, I would put him. Porky Pig. Yeah, who? Spider Ham. Porky Pig. <laughs> this is a, that's Peter, a Peter Porker. Uh, and some of these are a little bit goofy and shit like that because there's only a, a handful of main, main sort of characters we come in love. So, how do you want to do it? Do you want to do it on our favourites? Don't worry though, if it was voice actors, I'd help you defend Hayley in this film, anyways. Oh, so what about Nick from New Girl who plays our Peter Parker? But Gwen. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> but you're saying but but Gwen or but if you're defending Haley you should be saying but Haley. Sorry, but but Hayley. I said to be fair anyway, Haley's James's <laughs> I reckon Chris would fight for it. Yeah. 
I'll give now if it's As if like... you can have weird little crushes on celebrities, you're a sicko. Says the guy. Makes you sound mental. Says the guy who's got a crush on people. Makes you... <laughs> I, I had like a, a woman crush on Hayley Williams for a while though. Hayley Williams? Yeah, I know she's not an actor, but she's. Oh, Alright, sorry, sorry. She's a singer, you know. Mm. She's ginger. Is she actually ginger or is she dye her hair? She colours her hair. Yeah. And now she's got a whole, a whole a hair colour brand as well. But it's all vegan. Afro was always my It's all vegan. I don't like Paramore. I will never listen to Paramore. Afro was my uh, crush growing up like. And she's come back onto the scene. She is now. Or is it her clone? Do 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 do. <laughs> she actually died. She died in 2004 and now she's come back as a different person. Who are you bowing to? <laughs> <laughs> I discovered that you mean six. You mean six? You mean at six a touring next year? I kind of want to go. Oh, six o'clock's not a good time for me. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, but no, how do you how do you want to play it? Do you want to do it on your favorite, or do you want to do it who we think is the biggest character from the, out of that film? It might because I guess it might not be his landslide. It, it, you might actually think Peter Porker. Uh, he's not going to be though, is he? It's going to be hard doing it in the apart from having Miles and um, Peter. You know, like mate, this you can't argue Miles's popularity. Yeah. Soon. Um, but if we go on our favourites... Miles and Peter in it? No. Yeah. No. What, in, in the film? No, yeah. in this. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. In the yeah. bracket. Right, That's okay. what I'm saying, because your favourite for I know might be, you might have loved Spider-Man Noir, you might have loved Penny Parker, you might have fucking loved uh, the, the Kingpin. I don't fucking know. kept on popularity, it's got to be maybe Miles or Peter. Yeah. Probably Miles. Probably. Preferably I'm, Miles. I'm thinking Miles, to be fair. Um, but going off favourites, you're going to defend... Yeah, we'll do it in our favourites. Yeah. yeah. Don't just think I'm going to defend Peter because this is these are all spiders. He really like yeah. smiles. Yeah, well, I though. fucking adore that little yeah. dude. Right. Go, go, go for our favourites. We'll go for our, our favourites. Too. So when we watch the film, we're going to do, find the answer of who Wait. you enjoyed the most. Can I take this off your pen? So how is this going to work then? It's going to be our favourites. So basically, if I say... Uh, one, so for one, instance, I'm not going to say any. Yeah, but I'm just going to say for instance, I'm not going to choose two of us against each other. But if you went for like Goblin or Kingpin, who's going to be your favourite? Yeah, so we would say I preferred Kingpin because blah blah blah. You preferred the Goblin because blah blah blah. Find the winner to the next round. Okay. Yeah, you happy with that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, go on then. Let's fucking do it. Spider Man and Prowler. Spider Man or Prowler, and this being, I, I did put brackets. Because uh, obviously we get introduced to Spider-Man of Miles Universe, the one that <laughs> dies. Ah, uh, the yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, so it's obviously it's, I can't understand his it's, writing. It's our Spider-Man, the, the out of shape, the thingy, or the Prowler who ends up being spoiler. But it wasn't the spoiler for me in the film. Miles, Miles uncle. uncle. Right. Okay. Yeah, and he's always comes with that horrible, scary music. But every time he, yeah, it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, don't, hey, if you prefer the prowler, if you prefer the prowler, if you prefer the prowler in this I think film, his fucking... character from Day One was a decent character and like the stuff he had done. Yeah, and Miles, fucking outstanding. Little, little twist as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, so I, I think it was the how prowler. Miles went to him rather than his dad. Yeah. They did the graffiti and stuff. He's like, oh, he's got to go away for work. When he's in his apartment, oh, I've got the goosebumps. When he's in his apartment and he's walking around and he knows that someone's. Oh, we're like... talking about spider shit, mate. He's walking around. This plus is my favorite film of all time. He's walking around spy, the apartment and he's thingy and. Uh, but um, yeah, obviously I'm gonna have to disagree. Still, this Peter Parker was fucking outstanding. Oh my god, so he let himself go as well. Because it was a Peter that we're used to, but we're not used to. It's a Peter we've known every single yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, we seen his fall from being with MJ. We got to look at his actual, the strain that being Spider-Man's took on Peter Parker's life. We got to see him, like I said, lose MJ, uh, deal with everything else, the, the wears and tears of being Peter for so many fucking years. Then we get to see Peter have finally become the role model and the, 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 the guardian, the, the Iron Man to the thing in the MCU. But for a different Spider, his attitude from giving up to then realise and know, you know, you know, anybody can still wear the mask. The whole thing about the whole fucking film, you know, it just takes a leap of yeah. faith. Oh, look at the leap, it's just not again the leap of faith. I just, I, it was fucking poetically beautiful from the way that he literally, I don't mean this is a pun, swung full character. I thought it was just absolutely amazing. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to say Peter Parker. And don't worry, I'm not going to try and be biased to him the whole way through. <laughs> Prowler was amazing. I, I, I can understand why you prefer that. And I would be, if he won this round, I'd be so happy, it's fine. 
But you stick with Prada. Prada. So it's, it's a swing to you. Ooh. It's another swing. Ooh. 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 Who did you prefer? Ooh, I don't know. He's, I don't know. So obviously Peter let himself go after everything and you've got the prowler in his little story. Both of them had. Aaron. And obviously he dies as well, which was impactful yeah. to Miles. Obviously, like in the little fight bit as well, he's like, when he realises who Miles is, he's yeah. like, oh, I better not kill you. I mean, obviously, because we're basing off the characters from this film, so if that prowler in this film did a bit more for you, then fair enough. And a beautiful motorbike as well. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. It's just I like f- his little like side bit yeah. within the story as well. Because he's a bad amazing. guy, but he's like you fall in love with him the way like he treats Miles uncle. and everything. Yeah. And I still will. So that tune will fucking haunt me. It's so scary. Hey. Even though Miles has a dad, he's more Miles's father figure because when he escapes from school, mm-hmm. he goes straight there. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he can be more of himself there. Mm-hmm. His little feet and everything. Yeah. Like he said. So yeah, Prowler. He's won that one. Next. Not even sorry, Dan. Um, no, don't be sorry if you think. Spider Noir and Spider Ham. Both get introduced at the same time. Both get the same little sort of shenanigans. Yeah. Go on, you go first. I don't really have a favourite with these two. I think because I didn't really get moved behind either character. They were both somewhat the comedic effect, but more. So, I'd say more so Spider Ham. Characters more than all else. Oh, they were definitely the secondary characters, yeah. but they still had a, a fairly impactful spot in the film. I love Spider Noir is like, every time you see me, sometimes it's usually on in grey. And Spider Ham's like, oh, in this universe, I still get my hammer and all this shit. Hi, I'm Peter Porker. I'd say I'm more swing towards Noir. I think, yeah, I would agree with you there. Noir. I, 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 plus, I love the fact that it was voiced by Nicolas Cage. Mm. I just thought that was so. Off topic, it was it was fucking beautiful. I'm happy with Noir. Okay. Plus, I like the, the that from the comics. It's really cool to see Spider Man in that era. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Era. So I'm American, USA, USA. Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Mike Pence. He was his. That's his vice president. I sort of like Ham as well because you wouldn't expect anything like that. Yeah. Ham's cool, and there is actually a, a Miles version of Spider Ham as well, which is fucking awesome. <laughs> Olivia Octavius. Obviously, because it's the female version. Oh, Gwen. Oh, Gwen. I, I mean, this one's cut and dried. It's Gwen's it's fucking Gwen. awesome. I, I, I like. I do like the, the 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 Doc Ock we had in this. Though I thought she was cool. Yeah. The way that uh, um, for a second you didn't realize she's a bad guy. She gets Peter in the chair, and that and all of a sudden the arms come out and like, oh, she's a bad guy. I thought that's pretty dope. But yeah, Gwen's fucking Gwen. When's Gwen? Gwen. Uh, Miles well, no, you've got to concentrate on Haley as well. Well, well, no, not really. Yeah. Because you could have had any actor playing no. her as a I, voice actor. I will, no. I will quickly say no. um, the proud as well, Mahershala Ali. Oh my fucking god, that guy yeah. is another sexy little bastard. Yeah. Blade. Yeah. <laughs> Miles and Kingpin. Kingpin. Wow, it's another cut and straight away. It's got to be Miles, but I That's fucking Miles. I love this Kingpin because it was a villain doing villainous things for a nice reason to get back his son yeah and all that kind of shit it was a lot of villains seem to have these family orientated stories yeah plus we watched this kingpin kill a spider yes and i was like jeez fucking and it was quite it was brutal the way he did it i love the way he was animated it he felt so intimidating every time he was on screen it was fucking awesome i think i love kingpin <sighs> he's just such a beautiful bad guy but yet obviously you can't beat miles in that no. round anyway yes Penny and Goblin. Penny and Goblin. Uh, I mean, Goblin's character is very cut and dry. It's just, you, I'm assuming you. this will be the first time you've seen the ultimate version of the Goblin as an actual monster-looking thing as opposed to the, the mm. weird-looking thing. Penny again. Uh, Penny's the... Penny's the one where a robot is... The spider's inside the robot and that. And she's like the, the yes, 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 anime yes, sort of yes, one. Because yes, yes, yes. it's to do with a dad as well. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. He's um, again destroyed. I uh, I love Penny, Penny. Parker. I, was, uh, I love Penny Parker. She's cool as fuck. Unfortunately, the Goblin in this film... I would have said outside of this, I would have said Goblin, but in this film, there's not much to go on his story, if mm. you know what I mean. He's just there to be the big muscle, the big scary power. 
Next! May and MJ. May and MJ, who, uh, and obviously it'd be MJ from Miles' universe, the one that was up with the Peter Parker that died in that universe. But May being so badass in this, all the spiders seem to go over else. And she's like, I know why you've come here, down the elevator, the girl, or the fucking mm-hmm. thingies. But I, I quite liked it. MJ was just MJ in this, if you know what I mean. She was what she is in most universes. But we saw an MJ that was suffering the loss of her Peter, as opposed to the MJ in the other universe who suffered a loss because of separation. Yeah. Um... Which is always upset to see when you know the spider bird. But but May was cool in this because she was like Yeah, she knows she crack. was right in with the spider yeah. crack. And, yeah. yeah. Why'd you look so sad? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kinda glad that you explained that because I forgot MJ in that film, to be honest. Yeah, well yeah, yeah, she was lost. As she was the one that gave the speech and Peter's yeah, in the crowd. I remember and that, doing and that, the speech that's it. Uh, but as well the our Peter tries to talk to her. And then when you're in the hotel lobby, they're sneaking in. They've mm-hmm. got the spider like ceremony thing going on. The translating Peter's looking at her, and he's pretending to be talking about breadsticks. Breadsticks. Yeah, I still don't remember. Um, Scorpion and. Twenty ninety nine. I went for twenty ninety nine because. Because that looks like Zoa. Because <laughs> obviously Scorpion we see very briefly, and twenty ninety nine we see even more briefly. But I don't know if you remember, I remember the cutscene, watch it, and I'm grabbing the fuck out of you saying, Chris, if I see 2099 here, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. And we did. Of course, the characters aren't looked at at all because they're just little bingies. I lost my fucking mind because I love Miguel O'Hara. I love Spider-Man 2099. And the Scorpion, you don't really see, you just see him as the character. Like I said, it was kind of hard to, to find characters that we actually explore in this. There's just mm. a set few. Yeah. But for me, because I love the guy with 2099. I can't remember either. You can't remember the cutscene at the end? Yeah. But obviously they had the meme of Spider-Man pointing each other. But he come in right at the end. I can't remember it. I guess that Funko's cool. You can get that as a Funko now, you don't need my like. And you can get that now. So he's going to go for 29 now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Dan remembers this film better than Steve. It's my, it's my favourite film, I'm going to fucking... <laughs> um... Jefferson Davis who? and Rio Morales. Miles' dad. Oh, okay. And who? And his mum. Rio mom. Morales. Yeah, two characters you his do... His mum or his dad? Yeah, but his dad you do explore. And don't ask why has his dad got a different surname. There's a whole long... There's a theory that it's not really Miles' oh, so real dad. Is dad or something? Not, well, it is his real dad, but there is a theory out there that he was... He, he took Miles on at a young, young age... Uh, but at the same time as well, it's common in America for the kid to take the mum's maiden name. Uh, and there's also a theory that Miles Morales just rolls off the tongue a hell of a lot better than... Miles. Yeah. Davis. But it is, it is his dad. His dad. His mum was quite cool, though, because she was... Oh, you didn't really get to see his mum. No, you do, yeah, you didn't. So she, she's got a... Um... She just had a little five-minute thingy where his father was more... They tried to help and try yeah. to shine him up as well but try to his, help his him. dad's obviously going to go through yeah his dad did embarrass him but he's like, I love you <laughs> his dad tried everything he could possibly do to to fully yeah. accept Miles I would love for, for Miles to, to love him the same way back and he obviously hated the villains and stuff like that sorry superheroes and shit but at the end he sort of comes on yeah. board with it no plus I feel sorry for his mum because in the comics she, she gets stabbed to death Obviously, they don't explain that, so I was like, oh, I've got to give you little mentions. Sorry. <clears throat> Are we ready? Yeah, ma'am. We've got Prowler and Noir. That's Prowler. Yeah. Prowler. These ones always seem to go for Prowler. Well, because like I said, we've already stated a case for them. I know who's going to win this one. Gwen or Miles? Well, it's got, it's got to be Miles for me, because... Gwen's character we don't fully explore yet. We we get to see the little bit of loneliness. We see that she lost her Parker. She does doesn't really do any real growing in the film, whereas Miles Aren't completely. Have we seen a lot more of her in the second one though? Yeah, we should be. Mm. She made the, she's again she's another one that's benefited from this film in terms of popularity yeah. absolutely skyrocketing. But in terms of actual character arc, Miles is fucking. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Miles. I mean, remember when he the the the, the spiders not not leave him, but they, they say don't come along. You're not used to your powers. You got to stay. But you know, the back again, mate. And he shoots off that fucking building. The song's playing. It, that's you know how much I love that picture, and she knows how much I love it. And he's falling for it. Oh my, I could cry right now. <sighs> it's fucking... well, that was the dog. Yeah, yeah. I didn't you know, knock. She, she did that earlier. Mum just pressed an 
Ellie, do you look at the back door? How many people knock on the back door? She's barking at the back door as if someone knocked in it. How many... Sure, gonk. <laughs> How many people knock on the back door? Yeah, I'm trying to get emotional about Spider Man here. Uh, Penny and May. Penny and May. I'm, I'm going to say May. I, I, I mean, I love Penny Park. She's cool as fuck. She's cool as like, ah, go on, Penny Parker. But I love the way May is in this film. Yeah, I have to go with May as well. May, May. Jefferson or 2099? Mm, that's gotta be. I mean, unfortunately, I prefer 2099, but we're talking about better characters. In this film, we explore Jefferson's character. We don't explore 2099's character. We just get a, oh, he's here. He's going to be in the next one. Sweet. Mm -hmm. You. No. May or Jefferson? Oh, so the two fathery, motherly figures to our two respective. To, to, again, to be fair, exploring a character, their true feelings and inner thoughts as Thomas Jefferson. Oh, you're going to say May. Yeah. Well, go on. It, it's, Obviously, it's, it's not your case. She's been behind Peter since day one, yeah. really, so she knows the crap, regardless if it's mm. in our universe or a different universe. Yeah. May's and she's embracing the other spiders. Yeah. Jefferson has just been the father to Miles, not actually Spidey. No, it's like, a little stomping ground. Yeah, well, but again, his complete character arc completely changed from we see in this misguided, troubled, uh, struggling with his own feelings kid, a dad who's trying to find his best possible way to accept him, being strict oh, with yeah. the rules and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and Miles thinking, oh, your dad, you're limiting me. You're always telling us off. He's like, no, I just want you to be the best version of you you can be. That scene where. Miles is on the other side of the door, webbed up, and he's got his thing, and his dad's expressing his absolute full love to him. He's like, you know, no matter what happens, no matter who you are, how you are in the future, I'll always love you, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'll always love you, and shit like that. And, it's, it's true. and but he, he doesn't know that Miles is the other side of the door, and Miles knows that he's there, but he, he can't shout back, Dad, I love you, because he's, he's all webbed up and shit. Yeah. And because of that speech is when he finally starts to sort of control his powers, zaps out, and if you could argue, if it, his dad didn't come around and say that speech... Miles wouldn't have found the inner strength for himself to, to, to control his powers and go on to have the, save the spiders. So in this particular film, I would have to say, is Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of persuade me. I don't think Chris is paying much attention here. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> No, you have kind of persuaded me there. You know what I mean? I, I mean, obviously, in, in the whole general Marvel universe, I'd, I'd probably go for May most May, of the time, yeah. but in, we're talking best characters from this particular film. What have you got? I've got Oh, with your pen? Come on, Thank you. Um, Prowler or Miles? <laughs> oh. It's, I mean... The uh, uncle loves him for me. It's, it's Miles. Yeah, it's He's the Miles. ultimate character growth from this. This costume's just fucking... Badass man, I love that he wears a spider crack still with his like, he's got his shoes, mm -hmm. shoes and that on and his fucking, his jacket and whatnot. Yeah. Is this going to be Miles versus Dad? Yeah. All my days. <laughs> Miles versus Jack. There's something poetic about that and I believe you me, this is, this has been random. But yeah, it's in Miles. Okay. I, I think we yeah, can, we can, yeah, yeah. It have to be Miles. I mean, we could debate it all day, Miles as a character. He's the main character, so he's going to have the most growth and stuff. But yeah, he's my sunflower. I think you're lovely too. Too much. There we go. It was in the Spider-Verse, Chris. Into the Spider-Verse. Next week, we're going to talk about our bracket for the favourite adventures the Teletubbies went on. Favourite Toss TV character, Mine's the Donkey. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember Toss TV characters. You remember Toss TV? I remember Toss TV. <laughs> There's only them three. Other favourite hoops. Who's the best hoops? We'll do a, we'll do our we'll do our favourite uh, wife of Henry the Eighth. I don't know who you are. Can you would say that? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew he'd say that. What's your favourite story from Story Maker? Oh, for... hey, yeah, mum loves a crack. Mum, you're in the brackets, Chris. You're out. No, well, uh, you should, if you've got any ideas for ones in the future, fucking just swing them in. What, I've, got, I've got to stop saying swing them in because I don't mean to. What about um, TV shows growing up as a kid? That would be fucking awesome, but we kind of did one. Did we not do Cartoon Network? Which, for me, was the 90% of my growing up. 
We did like Ellen and Eddie and stuff, didn't we? Yeah, not? we did. I feel like we did. And stuff like we did. We used to like down watch the hoops, the Rally, Pots TV. You mean like kid, Hong kid, Kong kid. Hong Kong Fooey. I love Hong Kong Fooey. Hong Kong Fooey. Bat Fink. Fooey. Bat Fink. Fink. You cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of My steel. My wings are like a shield of steel. We like that more than you, so it takes well, me a while to remember. Yeah, that, 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 sort, that, that, no, that them sort of shows <laughs> would have been in your prime. They'd come back out for us when we were kids. Yes, but I had brain injury when I was younger, so pure. I had a brain injury. <laughs> Um, I did. <laughs> our fa- well, to be I fair, you, you, you still talk about food a lot more than me. You can do your favourite food. I don't give a shit. As long as I like it, I don't care. The lads at work co- constantly <laughs> debate food. They're like, have we added this? Have we added this? Have you cooked it this way? And I'm like, oh, give a shit. How can you talk about this? Whereas if you guys might enjoy that. Sushi. Which doesn't always have to be fish. No, it doesn't. I didn't know that until... It's like your favourite food, sushi. Sushi? Sushi? <laughs> sushi? Sushi? I don't know if you've been racist there. I'm a sushi ramen, yours is. Um... Mine's a double XL taking a cheeseburger meal. So oh, many I had a Burger King yesterday. Oh, she got me two the other day. Of a week. Of a day. Of a week. Saturday, last week. Burger King are doing a bacon special thingy. I got it without the cheese, obviously. <laughs> I fell in love with that Halloumi burger. Like chicken royale is like Hello. chicken fries, yeah, but the halloumi burger, it's at a different level. Remember when they used to do the jalapeno burger? Mm. Is it jalapeno or jalapeno? Jalapeno. A- oh, it's, wait, so it's not even in the two I, I just said. It's, it's like, jalapeno. It's, no, it's jalapeno. 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 Hala- so it's a jalapeno. <laughs> if you want to be in Jalapeno burger. You, a jalapeno burger. It's like when people you used to say Scarlett Johansson, or Scarlett Johansson. It's like chorizo, it's chorizo. But she's like, it's got a J in it, why is Johansson. it? It's Johansson. Carry on, sorry. Chorizo is pronounced chorizo. 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 It's not chorizo, it's chorizo. I don't know what that is. It's like pepperoni. Oh. <laughs> pepperoni, pepperoni. We could do a CW one. I don't know why we have haven't. No, not really. We're like Oliver Queen, Barry Allen. Oh, it'd be flash for me. It'd be that way, yeah, it will be. It'll be Oliver. But again, my, oh, my argument would be the biggest if, 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 Yeah, if it wasn't for him. But I mean, it's all. And that's why a, everyone else is dying off, because he's gone now. That's what I mean. <laughs> that's, well, that's, Superwoman. That's an even bigger off. point you've just put to his side. The <laughs> fact that he's now gone. Off. I think this is meant to be uh, Barry's last one, last season. There you go, keep them, don't throw them away. I know, I'm not going to. Don't even look at my fucking look at her. She's sneaking. And this is this is top secret stuff. The Boris Johnson messaged me asking for this information. This is the secrets to COVID, and I'm keeping them to myself for the highest bidder. Can I have my pen that you bought me back, please? You mean that you stole? Uh, I said, get me a pen. No, How much did you stole from me? You stole enough of my time. <laughs> you I'll call you just no. I won't call you Justin Timberlake. Who's is it? Uh, uh, is it Mila Kunis that's in that film? No, who's the... No, it's, it's Anna Kendrick, in it? I have no idea who you're on about. you never seen it in time with Justin Timberlake? I was like, Dad looked at me the other day when <laughs> Cry Me a River. I was like, I didn't cry for Justin. I'm not crying for you. <laughs> You've never seen it? I've seen, seen what? Friends of Benefits. No, where, where they don't have any money anymore. It's all literally time. Oh, the film Time? Yeah, oh, in yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not... Um, what do you call it? I thought it was Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick's in like pitch perfect. No, isn't it um fucking 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 I can't remember her name. Fucking fucking fucking. I can't fucking, remember. Why are you looking at me like I'm going to give you some answers? Uh, oh no, it's the googly-eyed girl. Um, Amanda Sy- Seyfried. Seyfried? Seyfried. I know who she Seyfried. is. She's got the uh, in Ted. They call her. She looks like Gollum because she's got beady eyes. That was such a good film. You were barfing up there because that was something to burn. Oh, were you not? <laughs> oh, I don't know where I got Anna Kendrick from. Then she plays 13 in House. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember her name. She was recently in. Uh, she had a big stint in How It Your Mother. She was in. I don't know how she was in. Uh, Cowboys Aliens. Yeah. Was she in that, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, then anyway, without Spider-Verse, we're going to go now because I need shower because I'm feeling a bit sticky and then we need to fly up road.
Right up the road. I might fly up the road. Would you pop to Asda to get some pizzas for me and the the boy? I drive. Uh, I'll be... That's fine by me. <laughs> shotgun. No. Music. Shotgun. Um, shotgun. 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 I'll just shout at you. I, I need to stretch. Uh, I'm older than you. Shout shotgun. You can the um, Just <laughs> line yourself out in the back like. Um, no, I'll, I'll be in that. I feel sticky, you know. I always do. See, when we finish doing this, we've done no physical it's shit. Because all this stupid fidgeting about. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is because we've not done like fi- anything physical or all. But yeah, I always feel sticky and gangrene. Yeah, you know what I mean. Plus, need to wash the, uh, the 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 ink. Are you getting that set yet? No. No. I doodled and done. Yeah. I doodled that one and I doodled that one and then Andy did it. Bzz, bzz. Mm-hmm. Bzz, bzz. Right, there we go. Just thank you for listening. Remember, always keep being you and keep on web slinging. Oh, you'd fucking say that. Yeah. <laughs> Chris likes breast milk. <laughs> We're just going with that. Yeah. Oh, man! I like breast milk. <laughs>